Now, we obviously, because of time, we can't go over the, the other shows that you've done. One, you continue to deliver uh, performances on all the mediums that we talked about, and writing and directing. I wish, since this is about television, I wish you'd talk for a minute about Scientific American Frontiers. I was about to mention that. Let's talk about it. You've done that since 1993, right? Yeah, well, this, right now we're uh, in, into our seventh season, I think. Describe and that show. And it's an unusual it. program. I, I think, I don't, I don't know of a science program that's ever been done like this. Um, we, we don't just tell about, first of all, we don't take pictures of birds mating and and eating one another, we, <laughs> snakes eating birds, birds eating worms. I mean, you know, that's that's a, a common sign. That's the only kind of show you can sell in Europe, by the way. They just like to see uh, animals doing bad things to each other. They, 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 and some disembodied voice describing it. You know, uh, we do a different thing. We sort of do a detective story in a way, where the um, the the scientist has to solve this problem and go and does these ingenious things to get the answer to the problem. But we don't just document it. We, I go in there and interact with the scientist and, um, and I'm very curious and I try to get the scientist to explain to me, to make me understand what he or she is doing. And this means trying to understand how the machinery works and understand the concepts, the terms, understand the chemistry of it or the, uh, the physics of it. And they have to really try to get me to do it because I won't give up on them. I, I just keep after them until I get it. And when I get it, if, if I get it, and it, that usually works out so that I get it on camera and you see me get it, which gives the audience a chance to get it at the same time. So, and it's cut in such a way that a lot of them will get it around the time I get it. But it's much more vivid that way. It, it, in a way, I'm like the surrogate for the audience. But it's not just, so this sort of gives them like, like a little television event. You know, this, this thing happens in front of them. It's not just telling them what we figured out in our research and explaining it to them like a lecture. It happens in front of them. And I have to use my acting skills, which, which is not pretending something. I, don't, I never pretend anything. The one acting skill, the only acting skill I use is listening, because I really have to listen to what they're saying. And all my questions come from what they've just said. I don't go in with a set of questions. And, and, and I'm trying to get it from them. I'm trying to understand. But what the big thing this does is it, it relaxes the scientist so that because the scientist now is totally focused on trying to get me to get it, you know? And if I don't get it one way, then they try another way. And if I know that doesn't work, then they try another way. And they say, okay, well, look, 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 try to picture it this way. And now all of a sudden you're seeing the scientist as a real human being because who they really are really comes out when, when they have to relate to me like this. It's, it's wonderful. You, the people at home, kids especially, can say, Look at that funny guy, that scientist. I want to be like that because they're, they're, they're usually very funny. They have a good sense of humor, scientists, and they're great uh, teachers. So that, so, the, so that the kids can say, I, want, I can be that. That's a person. That's not some, some god on the Acropolis. I could, I could be that person. So it's making it accessible. Yeah, right? it's making it accessible on a lot of different levels, and I'm, I'm very proud of the program. And, I, and I've gotten wonderful people, people from all walks of life waitresses in diners, pilots on airplanes, um, scientists, very important scientists, have, you know, all of, all of these people from, from you know, every walk of life, they've all said to me that they really enjoy seeing the show because sometimes a scientist will see a story about so, uh, a, a scientist from another field and they're as much a layperson as far as that field is concerned as, uh, as the waitress in the diner is.